Hi, uh, in this session I'm going to show you how to create a basic uh, middleware. Uh, now there's a uh, artisan command for that. Uh, uh, the command for uh, uh, to create a middleware is php artisan make middleware. And then you can give your um, middleware name. Uh, now in this session I'm going to check whether a user is uh, user status is uh, 0 or 1. Uh, if the user status is 1, then uh, the user will be able to access the admin section. Otherwise, uh, a user will be displayed a message and he will not be allowed to access the admin section. So uh, let's give the name um, as a check uh, status. Once, once you create, uh, once you run this command, uh, you should be able to uh, see a class over here. Now uh, the next step, uh, let me explain it a little bit over here. Uh, the request is uh, the current request and now uh, let's see what a request looks like. Uh, die and dump over here, request. And uh, to um, attach uh, this um, middleware to a route, uh, I'm going to attach it to the admin section. So I have a prefix admin, I'm going to add another key over here saying middleware. And I'm going to give uh, the name of the middleware over there. So I'm going to say check status class. Make sure you don't uh, add single quotes over here and uh, let's add the name, uh, uh, let's use it at the top. That's it. Uh, we should be able to see uh, tie dump. So let's go to the browser. Let's click on this. Let's click on categories, and there you go. We have our die dump uh, over here. It it gives us uh, all the information, uh, like uh, like the route resolver, uh, like the request that has been made. Uh, we are not passing any parameters. Uh, server files, all the cookies, all the headers that are passed. And uh, the method, base path, uh, path info, and all, all, all the information can be found in the request. Now, uh, what we are going to do is uh, check whether a user status is zero or one. Um, so to do that, uh, we have a user class over here, uh, which comes in Laravel by default. So let's use it over here. And let's check if the user status is 0 or 1. To do that, uh, let's get the user ID, the user that is logged in. So user, sorry, user ID. I um, uh, can get it using um, auth ID. Next, uh, we can uh, once we have this ID, we can find the user using ORM. So user is equal to user find. And let's pass this ID over here. Uh, from that, uh, we can access the status property. So uh, let's check what is user object looks like. Uh, class user not found. Um, sorry, app user. Make sure it is app user and not user because the namespace is app. There you go. We have user and we can check the attributes over here. Uh, we can check the attributes or so name. Uh, status is zero. Uh, the logged in user. So. Uh, we can check for a status over here if uh, 
uh, to access the property, the uh, arrow uh, operator has to be used. So if it is zero, then um, we are going to just print a message. You can redirect. You can use a redirect uh, to a different page, but I'm just going to echo a message uh, over here. So, and once it is done, uh, I'm just going to say exit. Uh, you can redirect to a different page. Uh, I don't want to redirect the user to a different page. So I just want to exit it. Um, uh, let's run it and we should have a message. Now uh, let's go and um, let's log out and home, log out, log in again with the other user. This user is um, valid user so that that user has access um, to the categories page or any other pages in the admin section i think uh, that's it uh, for now in this uh, session um, if you're if you're finding this video is helpful then please like or um, subscribe to my channel um, and i will see you in the next video in the next video i'm going to uh, create some more complex uh, middleware classes so I'll see you in the next session. Thank you for watching.